And I promise you, you can. In fact, it's worse than that. The world is waiting for you to. The world is waiting for you to be who you are at the level of your magnificence. How dare you hold yourself back from us? You don't get to do that because you're doubtful or, or unclear. You don't get to do that. We need you too bad, too badly. Step into the full beingness of who you are, and a way to translate that into a doing this activity will arise spontaneously. And when you get those offers to go and talk, and those offers to be who you are at the next level, of course you say yes before they even finish the sentence. I'm there. What time and what place? I'm there. Let's go. Because we need you. You don't get to hold yourself back from us. You simply don't get to do it. You weren't given the gifts of magnificence. You were given to not use them. There is no excuse for not trying. Where you are right now doesn't have to determine where you'll end up. No one's written your destiny for you. You write your own destiny. You make your own future. The biggest war you ever go through is right between your own ears. It's in your mind. We're all going through a war in our mind, and we have to callous our mind to fight that war and, and to win that war. I love the discipline part because, you know, people think you are just, you, you make something cool and you're supposed to be a success, but we, we put a lot of work into what we do, and a, right. a lot, it requires discipline. That's right. Because you can't just do whatever you want to do and think everything is going to come out 100%. It's not. You got to put that work into well, it. Well, they say effort. luck is where opportunity meets preparation. That's right. It won't be easy. It will be hard because life is hard. That's what life is. And these challenges, these challenges that you face, they're gonna do their best to take you down. Each person is responsible for their own life and that if you're waiting on somebody else to move your life forward, it will never happen. Dreams without goals remain dreams, just dreams, and ultimately fuel disappointment. The truth is, you have to be the best you you can be. There's only one you. I mean, there's not another one on the face of the planet. Thicken your skin. Become more of a human being. Don't be afraid of the reflection in the mirror because that's all you can be afraid of. Once you overcome the reflection in the mirror, you've done it. It's about facing your fears. It takes discipline to face your fears so you can conquer them. Most of this generation quits the second they get talked to. You did this wrong, you did this wrong, or, or they get yelled at. It's so easy to, you know, to, to be great nowadays, because everybody else is, most people are, are weak. This, this is a softened generation. So if you have any mental toughness, any, any ability, if you have any fraction of self-discipline, the ability to not want to do it, but still do it. And that's what discipline is. Discipline means taking the hard road, the uphill road, to do what's right for yourself and for other people. Why are you here? What's your reason for being? Why do you get up in the morning? You have to know who you are and who you belong to. I think we have to reflect on who am I? Why am I here? What drives me? Fear doesn't have any right to you. It doesn't own you. Poverty doesn't own you. You may have an addiction, but it doesn't own you. Don't see it as your master, as bigger, more powerful. You'll never be free. It's temporary. Uh, Self-discipline and being able to perform and being able to keep your life on schedule and being able to keep commitments and promises and meet deadlines is essential to success. If you get up and you just have no discipline whatsoever, you get no value of anything. Your diets don't work when you don't do them. Exercise doesn't work when you don't do them. But most of the people have some experiences that they want to shift 
And once you shift those things, your whole life changes. But life is constant growth. If you change your mind, your mindset, and really focus it on what discipline really is, you start to welcome discipline. You welcome self-discipline into your life. It is all a mindset. The right attitude can move mountains. Change your thoughts and you change your world. There will be days where you will ask yourself, where is all this going? What is the purpose? What is my purpose? Maybe by talking about my journey today, I can save you some time. People come at life with the wrong attitude, okay? And, and they don't like hearing the truth. And the truth of the matter is this, the world owes you nothing. The world doesn't think you're special like your mom does. It doesn't think you're a delicate little flower. It doesn't care about you. Now, with that being said, the world doesn't hate you. It doesn't want you to fail. It just is, okay? We all have dreams and it's very scary sometimes to accept the dream that you have. And it's scarier still to say, okay, I want that. It's scary because you're afraid that if you put your heart and soul into it and you fail, then how are you gonna feel about yourself, right? So being fearless means putting yourself out there and going for it, no matter what, go for it. Not for anybody else, but for yourself. I know it's meant to be for you to do something great. I know that when you were a little boy or a little girl, you had this sense about you that you were born for a reason, that you're supposed to do something great with your life, big or small. Maybe you didn't know exactly what it is, but it's this feeling inside of you. You've always known I'm supposed to do something great. But most people, what they do is they pick little dreams and they associate with little people with little ideas and little thoughts. In high school, I thought I'd discover my life's purpose when I could answer that age-old question, what do you want to be when you grow up? Nope. In college, I thought I would discover it when I could answer, what's your major? Not quite. I thought that maybe I'd discover it when I found a good job. Then I thought I just needed to get a few promotions. That didn't work either. I kept convincing myself that it was just over the horizon, around the next corner. Nothing worked, and it was really tearing me apart. Part of me kept pushing ahead to the next achievement, and the other part kept asking, is this all there is? Here's the deal, dude. This is your shot to get your destiny. You want that dream bad? Here's the people, places, and circumstances. You better get it done right now. Here's what I believe for you. I don't know if this is your first or last, but I believe we were the people, the places, the circumstances, the moment, the timing, the mentors for you right now to make that destiny a reality. You gotta decide in this moment. You don't need to wait for tomorrow. You don't need to wait for the award ceremony. You gotta dig deep right now and you've gotta decide, I'm changing our life. I'm chasing my destiny. I'm going for my biggest dream. There's no easy way around it. No matter how talented you are, your talent is going to fail you if you're not skilled. Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't study, if you don't work uh, really hard and dedicate yourself to being better every single day. Mm -hmm. When you work towards something greater than yourself, you find meaning, you find purpose. I've, I've never really viewed myself as particularly talented. Where I excel is ridiculous, sickening work ethic. You know, while the other guy's sleeping, I'm working. While the other guy's eating, I'm working. The greats do things when they don't always want to. Mm. And I think that's what separates good from great. And if you want to be truly successful in life, you have to be selfless and you have to understand that being selfless and being of service 
to other people is the only true way to find long-term success. As you go forward today, use your minds and hands and your hearts to build something bigger than yourselves. Always remember, there is no idea bigger than this. As Dr. Martin Luther King said, all life is interrelated. We are all bound together into a single garment of destiny. If you keep that idea at the forefront of all that you do, if you choose to live your lives at that intersection between technology and the people it serves, if you strive to create the best, give the best, do the best for everyone, not just for some, then today, all of humanity has good cause for hope.